Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss with you chapter 2 file handling revision class. Uh, many of them messaged me whether the important question is only for the north zone or south zone or entire Karnataka. I just want to clarify this. Whatever the question or whatever I am teaching, this is for entire Karnataka board. Second PUC, if your college is following the second PUC Karnataka board, definitely this video will be helpful. And the computer science is a new syllabus. So till last year we were handling the C++ but this year Python is introduced. So we don't have any reference of previous year's question paper. So whatever I am telling the important question, please go through that because it is covering almost all the concept in the chapters. It is easy for you to do the revision. And mainly for this important question I am concentrating for the first exam. Because the blueprint, whatever the PU board has released, that's you know, at the end. But this I am going to concentrate on August month first test. I am going to give you the important question. So let's see. So this chapter, the file handling chapter is very, very important chapter. We may expect because August first exam, we are having only five chapter. So we may expect that one marker also, two marker, three markers and five markers. And five markers, definitely I am expecting the hard question. Because as per the PU board, the five marker in the final exam also, you can expect one five mark hard question from this chapter. Okay, so these are the important questions for this particular exam, August month exam. And these are the questions only for the two markers and three markers. So any questions if they ask, just, uh, no, I just tell you the keyword how to write it. If they're asking in two mark questions, how to write it. If they're asking in same question in three marker, what is the extra point you can write? I will tell you. So if you take the difference question, so difference between text file and binary file, if they're asking two mark question, just mention this is the important keyword. For text file, a data will be stored in ascii or unicode characters in binary file that you know the data will be stored for the raw data so this is the first point you can mention and in the text file you can mention it is a human readable language binary file means it's not human readable language and this is for the two more question and one example you can mention so the text file you can mention as example as any you no know, text editor like notepad word pad everything binary file means you have to mention images videos etc if they ask three mark question, what is the one uh, extra point you can mention is in text file, you can mention it is a error free. Okay. And binary file to correct the error, it becomes difficult. So all this explanation I have given already in my regular class of video file handling concept. So just watch that you will be understanding that. So I have given many points. So in that you can just mention three points. All the points are very important here clear and the read line read line and read and this question they will be asking in case if they are asking the syntax and example i will tell you later so there is a difference if they are asking in three marker uh, like what is the meaning of read line means it read the single line read lines means it will read the multiple lines and it is uh, no in the form of a list you will get the answer okay and another one is a read so read function also it read the entire content and the read function, another one is if uh, entire content or if you are having the argument of read of n, it will read the n character. Okay. And in three marker, they may ask, uh, no, uh, explain read function with syntax and example, read line function with syntax and example. Just go through that. What is the syntax and example? Don't make any mistake in syntax and example. Okay. And next one is a write function and write lines. What is the difference if they're asking? Just write and write lines. Both it will be storing in the form of string format only. Okay. And the write function if you are using what it will happen. Whatever the character you are entering into the text file. It will return it. But in write lines it won't return it. Okay. So that example you can give. Unsyntax example you can check it out. Next one is a split function and split line function. What is the difference? So split function it break a sentence into words. Okay. And uh, split lines is. It break text into lines. Next one, tell function and seek function. So tell function, it will tell the file pointer in where it is locating. Seek function means you are moving the file point to the particular position. 
okay and this also you can check the syntax for an example and load function and dump function we will be using for the binary file so load function to read the binary data and dump function is to write the uh, binary data and pickling and unpickling also i had explained clearly serialization and deserialization also i have explained just go through that video so these are the questions you have to remember and next i'm going to completely concentrate on the hot question now okay these are the hot question uh, this, these are the question it may come for your exam so what is the question write a file mode what is the meaning of file mode is what are the different file opening modes are available to open a text file and the binary file so if you have a question like a text file example dot txt is my extension of text file in both read and write mode so what is the mode you will be opening one is r plus or you can use plus r also so so these are the mode you will be opening it and your binary file binary file extension is what dot dat in write mode write mode means what wb next one is a text file try dot txt in append and read mode so append mode means what the you no know, whatever the content you are uh, no uh, uh, write it it will be added at the end of the file that is called append mode so these question also it may come what is the difference between write mode and append mode write mode it will overwrite the existing content and append mode it will add at the end of the content okay so if you are having it what is the thing you have to use it a plus or plus a okay and next question is a binary file b try dot dat in read only mode so read only mode means what you will be using rb it is a binary file right rb you will be using it next question your statement file equal to open of test dot txt your file will open in which mode so you are not given any mode here so by default the file will be opening in r you can see here dot txt means what text file so you have mentioned what r in case if they are asking dot dat means then also you have to mention r only but rb clear now okay you can see the next question write the output of the following code snippet a text file contains following details so this is the text file which already the content are here python is a fun language we can create text file and binary file so this is the code now file equal to open of test dot txt and in r mode reading mode we are opening so print of f dot it is not f it is actually file so print of file dot read of file so what the read of file what is the output you can see here p one two three four five characters it will read right so it will be what python p h t p y t h o this is the output for this so i will change instead of f file i will change to f okay so python okay the next one is print dot print of f dot tell so what is the tell function will do it will just tell where the current pointer will be so the current pointer will be now where it will be after reading o the current pointer will be here only so the current pointer will be 5 only okay because from the sixth line only you are going to read it now next print of f dot read line so what does the read line means the remaining so the output it will start with what n and the remaining if your fun language and completely you can complete it and this one understood next one what f dot read of 2 what is f dot read of 2 it will come to the next line it is reading two character so v is the answer okay what is the next one print of f dot read line what is the read line will do it will store in the form of list here so the remaining can create complete line till binary file it will be doing in the form of list understood now okay next one answer the following question write a command to write and read the following lines to my file dot txt so this programming question also they will ask you you have to write also and read also in the text file question so what is the answer i will tell you so you can see here file equal to open of my file dot txt i am using it in write mode after that s yes equal to so i am creating one uh, no variable here so whatever is here here i am giving here hi python is fun in the form of string and slash n why i am giving slash n is the next line it is going to the next line so this is a sample program i am giving it in the form of list here after that file 
dot right line for fess so you are writing the multiple line line right so you will be using right line for fess next you are closing the file again you are opening the same file in the read format then print of file dot read of function clear now okay this is another program this is also very important concept because uh, binary related program this is also one of the hot question what are they saying write a program to enter the following records in binary file see this is the same thing it is there in your ncrt book but i tell you instead of item number item name they may give for employee also or student list also everything the same concept only i will tell you how to write it so item number they have mentioned as a integer item name is a string quantity is a integer price also float so number of records to be entered should be accepted from the user this is what it is important so what they are saying is you can't give your own uh, constant value see for example that uh, you know item number item all this entry i have to ask the user to enter it so how many numbers also you should ask is then read the file to display the records in the following format so this is the format so they have to mention item number what is the item number then finally you have to do the Uh, calculation also let's see what how to do the program so this is the answer for this question so first line i am importing the pickle module what is the reason because i am creating got binary file so you have to import the pickle module then i am creating the file object the name of the object is f open function record dot dat this is my name of the file and wb wb means writing the binary file and x equal to i am creating one variable int of input of how many records so how many records the user wants to enter if the user wants to enter five records so five times all this questions interpreter should ask for that i am running what for loop here for i in range of x now what are the question item number item number is integer they have mentioned already in the question right item number is nothing but integer and uh, next one what they are asking next one is item name item name is string so input of enter the item name quantity is what int int also they have mentioned enter the quantity float enter the price so all these details we are collecting it from the user after that i'm creating list here so the name of my list is t so item name so all these details you have to mention it here item number comma item name quantity and price so all this item it will store in the form of list here after that this list i am dumping it what is the meaning of dumping writing this data to the binary file so pickle dot dump of this list i am dumping it to where this file clear after that i am opening again in the form of reading uh, you know reading the binary data and using try block here so we had discussed already whenever you are opening the you no know, reading the binary file you have to use the try and except block because eof error will come and while true why while true because until the condition becomes uh, no false which means until it reach the end of the file you are just should do no reading the data so p am creating uh, one variable pickle dot load what is the meaning of load function it will help you to read the binary data and f is what this file object you are reading this file okay after that in that questions they have mentioned i want the output should be item number item item name item name like that and finally you have to calculate also so you have prepared in the form of list right so item number where the position will be in the zero position so how can you access it so print of item number this p only all the files are storing right so p of zero so the item number will be in zeros position then item name means one first position then quantity means second position price per item in third position and amount you have to calculate calculate means quantity into price per item so p of 2 into p of 3 after that try means x sub block s dot close i am closing it let's run the program so here i am giving here two records i want to enter enter the now uh, item name 101 enter the item name i am giving rice quantity is 3 Price is four hundred and fifty, and enter the item number. Second item, and item name is dal. Quantity I am giving four, and the price is six fifty. Now you can see it is reading item number. Then press the item amount also. It is calculating. So this is what you have to write the code. 
if they are asking see this is the same thing in your ncrt book they may ask you to enter the employee and find out the salary also and student also find the percentage so the same concept instead of item number mention employee number employee name student number student name the co program concept is same only depends on the question you can change it okay so this is also one of the harsh question they will ask so any question if you have it please post your question in the comment section i will reply to your answer and uh, no already i shared the file handling concept my detailed video and i have done everything in practical example so go through that it will be really helpful for you so thank you so much soon i will upload the revision uh, chapter 3 This is a textbook which is available in Sapna Book House online and Avenue Road. Thank you so much.